Okay, this morning we were working a 300 gallon experimental vat of strain I'm working on of peacocks. I'm not going to, we're not going to film them. I just, uh, we're polyculturing mollies and guppies. The, gut, the feeder guppies are in there just to provide kind of dither fish uh, for the uh, big cichlids. And what I've discovered is the big cichlids are, aren't cannibalistic on their own fry if they have a whole lot of guppies around. I don't know if that's because they have a lot of food where they're just used to little fish. Uh, the mollies did really well. What I did was uh, picked out about 50 young females, put back in. I'm gonna show you the males and some of the older females that I'm keeping uh, to put in there and discuss uh, some breeding techniques. Um, okay, well, let's take a look at them and I'll talk. Okay, I select for size, and you can see the impact of that. These are nice big fish. But, uh, let's discuss the males first. This is a fairly decent sailfin male. He's big. Uh, I think he's got some short fin molly genes in him just from the shape of the dorsal. See how it's curved at the front? Uh, this male I like because of his body color. He's a hybrid uh, between sail fins. You can see a little bit bigger than normal uh, dorsal on, on a short fin molly. He's got nice blue body color. Uh, this is a good sail fin marble female. Uh, this fish has, a, uh, has some short fin molly in her, but these two males do all the breeding since I purged all the younger males. And uh, we'll keep selecting for size. And at some point I may pull this male out next cycle and give him some females and go for blue. Uh, but I'm just gonna do kind of a mass selection now. These two males are gonna have around 50 females. Uh, some of them are gonna throw the sail fin, some aren't. Uh, the entire group is kind of a hybrid swarm. So I'm just doing what's called mass selection. I'm uh, picking uh, fish I like, putting them in there and, and raising large numbers. Uh, and then next generation, I'll, I'll pick the best and just keep that process up. And you see, these are some big fish. That's a one inch grid on the back. And this is a pretty good sized female. And that's not, that male's not bad size. Okay, we'll take a look at these mollies again next breeding cycle. Good fish keeping.